Hey guys, so right now I want to jump back to 1990 and I want you to imagine that you hate your job. Your life is not going the way you wanted. You've got rent that you can barely afford or a mortgage that you can barely afford. You're paying off student loans. You're helping your partner pay off their student loans. You've got two kids who you're worried about their future and their education. You've got elderly parents who need to go to a home but you can't afford it. You've got a commute, you've got a job that you hate, your boss treats you like shit. Things are not going the way you want. You're worried about finances. You're worried about your money. And so you wake up, it's two in the morning, you walk downstairs and you click on the TV and what do you see? You see an infomercial. We'll be right back with more incredible ways to make money. Now that you know what it does for you, right? if it was on TV and it was 500 bucks, would you think twice no. about getting it? Yeah, just like that. I sell my house, my car. Really? My cat? <laughs> <laughs> Don LaFree worked his way from bankruptcy to financial independence in less than a year. How did he do it? It was easy. And he's ready to pass his money-making secrets on to you. They're all here in this money-making package, available only through this program. Call this number now and receive all of Don's secrets for making money on your own and becoming financially independent. Otherwise, the guarantee asks that if you find that you don't want what the cash flow system can do for you, simply call for an authorization number and return the material in resaleable condition. Some over 20 hours of audio tapes and over 1,400 pages of written material for only $367. That means you're going to own this valuable information for only $45.87 per course. Selling you the dream, the American dream, so much money. You won't know what to do with it. And it's easy. It's so easy. All you have to do is buy this course. But before I tell you about this course, I want to introduce you to some of my clients. This person made a million. That person made 500,000. This person makes $10,000 a month. And it's easy. You can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. And they'll show you Ferraris and mansions. They'll show you the good life. Everything you've always wanted the American dream, and it's yours for 60 easy payments, right? Or $500 or $300 or, but wait, if you order right now, we'll knock off that fourth payment. And you watch that, desperate as you are, and you see this as your ticket out. So you order the course and it comes in this humongous box and it makes you think, look at all the value I'm getting. No matter what they sell it for, it's tremendous value. Look at all these books, look at all these tapes, look at all these videos. Oh, I'm gonna be learning 24 seven. But they know what they're doing. They're giving you all this material for two reasons. One, to say, look at the tremendous value you're getting for this low, low price. But two, to overwhelm you because they know how busy we are. They know between commuting and kids and dropping off and picking up and work and meetings and errands and chores and lawn mowing and, and all the stuff you have to do with your house, worrying about your bills, paying your bills. They know you don't have the time. Did I say lawn mowing? What's it called? I've never lived in a house. I've only been in apartments. Mowing the lawn? They know you don't have the time is the point. So they're preying on you and they're taking away the last little bit of money that you have, selling you, des selling you promises. They sense your desperation, right? That's why you're up at two in the morning and they're selling you dreams. They're selling you easy, fast money. So easy, you can't believe it. And then they take your money. And you get this big box with a 30 day money back guarantee, but they know you don't have, you're not going to go through it in 30, you don't have 30 days. You're busy. You'll get to it eventually. Your intentions are there. So it sits on the dining room table and it collects dust to the point where you stuff it in a closet and you forget about it. Now here we are in 2020 and nothing has changed. The only thing really that has changed is the medium. Instead of advertising on TV about books and tapes and videos, VHS, tape cassettes, it's on YouTube. And it's audio downloads, it's video downloads, it's eBooks, same shit. And it's lots of it. And they come out and they say, you know, Harvard costs $50,000. $50,000 to attend online classes at Harvard, or would you pay less than known as a suburban Seattle mom who's made millions trading the stock market. 
But more importantly, I'm also known as one of the best trading instructors in the U.S. Well, don't just take it from me. Just listen to what some of my newest trading students have to say. This trade I made was fabulous. I was nervous at first, but I took the trade just like you taught us. I made $3,500 in just two weeks. I have finally found that better way that I've been looking for. I made $23,000 in one month. My course is only whatever, and they can sell it for whatever they want because they just compared themselves to Harvard. You are getting a Harvard quality education for whatever price I sell. And no matter what price it is, it's going to be reasonable because Harvard is expensive. I could sell it to you for $100, $500, $1,000, $5,000. $5, I've seen courses. And it's still, comparatively speaking, cheaper than Harvard. As if some guy on YouTube is giving you the same quality education that you would get at Harvard. Please. But that's what they do, because they're preying on our desperation. They know how desperate we are, how, how we want out of this rat race so bad. They know exactly what they're doing, right? It's the same as the infomercial back then. Nothing has changed. They're preying on our desperation, and they're taking that last little bit of money that we have, selling us the promise, selling us dreams, selling us hope. And it's wrong, especially given that you can go on any website today and teach yourself how to trade stocks, just like I did. So that's why I'm doing this video. I am vehemently anti-course. You do not need to spend money on a course. You can teach yourself. Now, here's what these course guys will say. They'll come out and they'll say, it took me 10 years to develop this patented secret formula for trading stocks. Right? Why do they say that? Why do they say it took 10 years? Because they're telling you, hey man, if you go out on your own, it's going to take you 10 years. You don't have that kind of time. That's why you need to pay me. I'll teach you the secret. One simple pattern. I trade over and over again. This pattern makes me a healthy six figures each year. What I'm trying to say is this is not off limits to you if you have a stable internet connection and you're willing to learn. If you want to see how this pattern helped me quit my job, click this ad, and I'll show you, number one, the exact pattern. Number two, how to spot it. And number three, how to trade it. Number four, I'll go over the three secrets I use to make it work over and over again. I'll teach you the secret so you don't have to waste 10 years developing it on your own. But their secrets are usually moving averages. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as a moving average or Bollinger Band or Relative Strength Index, which if you don't know what those things are, seem significant, right? It took this guy 10 years to figure that out. Please. But that's what they're gonna say to you because you're unsuspecting. You don't know what they are. If you don't know what that stuff is and I tell you, hey, my secret, pay me and I'll tell you, it's Bollinger Bands. Whoa, what are those? But if you go online and you start researching this stuff, you'll find these videos and my channel too, right away. They're everywhere. You just have to know to look for them, which is part of the problem. People don't know where to get started, which is why I've made my YouTube channel the way that I have. Step-by-step, step, how to get started, what to look for. Because I hate the idea that people are out there scamming and ripping people off. And once you type in stock trading somewhere, on every website you go to, on every YouTube video you open, you're gonna be bombarded with videos from stock trading guys. Here's my course, here's my secret. Cheaper than Harvard, better quality education. Look at all the material you're getting. It's wrong, it's wrong. Now I'm all about the side hustle, right? I've seen a lot of videos online saying, don't knock people for doing a side hustle. Don't knock people for being entrepreneurial. But this isn't entrepreneurial. This isn't a side hustle. This is taking advantage of people who don't have a lot of money, selling them the promise of more of it, when really all they're doing is making someone else very, very wealthy. These courses don't come cheap. I've been spending a lot of time going around looking. And you know, they'll lure you in, just like those infomercials from the 90s. They'll say, you wanna know the secret? I'll show you, click on my website. And you click on the website and what do you see? A countdown clock. This offer is going to expire soon. It's just like the infomercials back then, right? It's just like those infomercials where they used to say, 
the first 100 callers or order now within the next 15 minutes. For a limited time only, I'm going to include the following bonuses. You'll receive a copy of Instant Mail Order Millions, Dave's newest book, how you can start and profit from your own home mail order business. And the first 100 callers will receive Dave's national bestseller, How to Make Nothing But Money. But then they run that infomercial every single night. Well, there's a sucker born every minute. And unfortunately, that's exactly who their audience is. Suckers, people who are desperate, people who are afraid, people who don't know how they're gonna keep paying their mortgage or their rent. They don't know how they're gonna keep a roof over their head. And so you've got these coarse people purposely taking advantage. That doesn't mean that some of them aren't good. I'm sure there are some that are fine. But it's not necessary. With all the tools and resources that are out there, all the websites I'll link below, it's not just my channel, I'll link the books, I'll link the videos. You can teach yourself how to do this and not make someone rich who's just trying to take advantage of you. But this gets to the larger issue of the American dream and how it needs to kind of be rewritten, right? We need to rewrite the American dream because the American dream as we know it right now is capitalistic and that's fine. Consumerism isn't bad. Capitalism isn't bad. Free markets aren't bad. It's only that they know how to target us. And that's what's bad. They're preying on our insecurities and our weaknesses. They're preying on the fact that we're depressed. How many car commercials have you seen where the whole narrative is this guy just getting abused by his boss? His life sucks, it's soul sucking. He's so depressed. Nothing is right, the dog shits on the carpet. His life is not going the way he wants. You know what he needs? You know what would make his life a lot easier? An Audi. You can work the weekend, right? Of course. Whatever you need. Carl, oh, send me that link. Okay, Gary. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a cleanse. I love you. Yes. I mean, uh, good point. So I say, that's pretty expensive for something called gluten-free. <laughs> A few more years, and I'll make you and your partner. Dramatic music plays. The stunning car arrives. It's one of my skirts. Ready? Set. Thanks. Carl? Because then he could drive in a climate-controlled, smooth, European, handcrafted, luxury car. Let people know he's significant. The problem is, we buy all of these things to make ourselves feel better, but we never get to enjoy them. And that's the problem with the American dream, is that it just keeps us on the cycle of perpetual work. Misery. Work, misery. Work, misery. Everyone likes to talk about the work-life balance. But the emphasis is it should be flipped around. It should be life-work balance, right? We should have less so we are less tethered to our jobs, so we're less depressed, less miserable. Well, how do you pay for your Audi then? You don't have the Audi. You don't have the Audi is how you do it. And I know that's going to be upsetting to some people because some people buy into this narrative. My life does suck. My job does suck. I am depressed, but I would be happier if I had a luxury car because it would make me, it would increase my self-worth and my sense of self-importance. I would be driving around in a very nice Audi and people would know I was important. Until you're at a red light and someone in a, uh, in a Ferrari pulls up next to you. And then you feel like kind of a loser sitting in your A3 Audi. And you look at that guy in the Ferrari and you go, That's what I need. I, th I thought it was this Audi. I thought it was this Audi, but I was wrong. It's that Ferrari. I know what this means. I'm gonna have to work more, harder, spend more time at the office so I can commute for 50, 50 minutes every day in a Ferrari. That'll make me feel better, right? You're still commuting. You're still going to the job that you hate. Your boss is still treating you like shit. Everything else in your life is still going wrong. Not to mention the fact that you're working yourself to death just to buy things that you don't even get the chance to enjoy, except for on your commute to work. Wouldn't you rather have a Honda Civic and the freedom to get in that car and go for a road trip? 
It's priorities, man. But all these companies know it. All these YouTube course people know it. They know exactly how to, to reach us. They know what kind of people their audience is, which is I got to fill a void. I got to buy a thing to make myself feel better. I'm always perpetually chasing the next thing. I'm always on the hunt for the next thing that will make me feel better. I thought it was the Audi. It wasn't. I thought it was the nicer BMW. It wasn't. I thought it was the nicer Mercedes. It wasn't. Oh, it's because it's a beach house. That's what I need to be happy, a beach house. So it's, you know, we're never going to be satisfied. That's why we need to rewrite the American dream to focus less on material and less on things and more on experiences and more on saving and more on investing. That money that those people are buying on those courses, and I've seen a lot of them ranging anywhere from $100 a month to 5000 a year. That's money that you could be investing in dividend paying stocks that could be compounding and building wealth over the long term, which frees you from your job sooner than you hoped. It's just changing the way we look at the world. It's just changing what we think is important. And that's easier said than done, I know. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone out there is trying to sell you a course on how to change that too. But I don't, I don't like those courses. It's wrong. That's all, it's wrong. There's no benefit to it. And these courses are easy. They're moving averages. That's all they are. They're moving averages. People are spending hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for some guy to tell them that the secret formula is something that they could have figured out if they would just done a little Googling. So I urge you to save your money, not buy those courses and stick with the free resources and maybe the not free, but they're cheap because they're books, resources, and teach yourself how to do this. Teach yourself how to do anything you want. It doesn't have to be stock trading. Whatever your hobby is, don't go and make someone else rich. The people who are doing these courses got rich, not from trading stocks, but from selling how to trade stocks. If I'm telling you, give me $10,000, I'm making $10,000 a month from my students. Who cares about the stock trading? Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. So, I don't know. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you don't waste your money on a course. I really do. And uh, I hope that gradually over time, maybe you're able to tweak that American dream and realize that less is more and that you can be happier with less stuff and you can spend less and save more and invest more. That's the key to happiness. Let your money work for you. An Audi isn't working for you. It's just impressing some people that you don't really even like in the first place. And maybe it's nice. Sure, it's nice. So what? So with that being said, please subscribe, please hit the bell, please like this video, and thanks for watching and have a good day.